How is it going, everybody? I am Donut, and as always, this is a Black Lives Matter, all cops are bastards, and trans rights supporting channel. If you're not supporting that shit, you're already dead. This is Fist of the North Star, chapter 61. I'm going to go fight Rao. Gonna go fight Kino. Let's go do it. Oh, very sad. Also, yeah, it was informed, like, Kino is, like, you know, like, king of the fist. Like, you know, the martial art king, the, 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 the king who has taken all these martial arts together under one thing. It's such a cool ass fucking name. But uh, the lost man of Hokuto. I mean, that would be Rao, right? Hmm, where's Sinshiro and Ray? I'm looking for food and ve or looking for food and a vehicle, so you don't have to walk. Okay, that's good. But yeah, I'm glad he's sticking around a little bit. I, I was like, I hope he doesn't just like die in between our arcs. I hope he sticks around a little bit longer. And you resemble Yuria so much. Uh, in the eyes, maybe. In the eyes and the face. Not really in the hair at all, but yeah, in the eyes and face. Hmm. Yeah, why would Raul be surprised to see to or to see uh, 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 Yuria? Hmm. So yeah, explain Raul to us. Explain him. Like, you know, the Raul that you used to know. He was strong. Maybe too strong. And so were his ambitions. He had no respect for Hokuto Shinkin's 1,800-year-old code of assassins. Okay. Not what I was expecting, actually. Thought he was going to be, like, you know, another, like, oh, he ended up very different from how I knew him, but... He is Hokuto Shinkin's lost successor. Damn. He looks very, like, uh... Oh, like, American-European, something like that, actually. Okay, the day to decide successor is close. What is the art of assassination? That's my question for you today. Hmm. And he gets the black uh, sound effect. He gets the white sound effect. <laughs> Gonna fight a tiger. <laughs> oh my god. Not just any tiger. Uh, yeah, that's just a wild tiger. That does not look like a wild tiger. That is much bigger. And then it can sense your intent. Life or death will be decided in an instant. I'll take down the tiger using the assassin's technique. <laughs> what, a, what a funny fucking way to do this. But all the cats just scared of him. Little pussy cat. Yeah, yeah, just just calms him down. That's assassination as well. I mean, legitimately, that is a form of assassination. Just making them bow to you. But this man would kill you. But so, you know, it's like... Kinshiro, it's like, oh, this man won't kill me if I don't attack. This man, if I attack or not, will kill me. So I have to attack. Yeah. But, hmm, just opens his eyes, freezes it in sight. <laughs> Damn, which is his aura alone. I mean, it was so sort of Kinshiro, sort of Kinshiro. Oh, then gets him in the neck. Even he gives a gag. <laughs> <sighs> and then, whoa, just like close hammers. Oh, no, I thought he was going to like, you know, uh, clothesline his head off. But no, he just grabs it like a basketball. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and the tiger didn't see you as a threat. You don't deserve to contend for the successorship. Yeah, he's saying that to Kinshiro. And yeah, it's not the tiger. Yeah, no, the tiger feared Kinshiro more. Even a tiger resigned itself to die. Okay, even a tiger resigned itself to die. That's what it was doing. I thought it was like, it could sense, you know, like what I said earlier. Uh, but in Rao's presence, it feared death. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, that is kind of what I'm saying. But, like, it resigned itself to die in Kinshiro's presence but in a like i think if i do this he won't kill me but if so i'm dead versus the other one was like you know it feared death hmm so yeah Rao, what will you use hope to shinken for for myself <laughs> what does that mean what do you hope to achieve <laughs> the heavens okay so yeah he's he's crazy you want to stand in the heavens and sit on the throne of power he's saying it like it's a literal thing <laughs> Yeah, I want the world within these fists. God will not allow that, so that I'll fight God himself. You're gonna have to, because who else is God the Apocalypse fucking Shiro? <laughs> Making enemies with a god. <laughs> yeah, and then the war erupted, and the world is now as Rao hoped it would be. Is it really? Is this what he hoped it would be? Did he say anything like that? He didn't really imply anything like that. I mean, I guess, I guess now, you know, the world is like he would hope to be, as in, like, he controls it. You know, he is God. He has the world in his hand. 
And I mean, Lacoy Lily has got all the techniques within his hand as well. Yeah, the whole town wiped out. But why? Not only seem like martial artists. The Keno Assault Force. They went west. Okay, so they went to the village areas. Okay, okay, God. We're just always missing people slightly. Yeah, okay, so he's gonna split out with us. Or split up from us, I mean. Yeah, definitely, definitely mean danger. Okay, he's finally making his move. What do you mean? Like, to search for you? Hmm. Hmm. What was your real like? Yeah, the only one I've ever loved. But, hmm. Yeah, they all they all loved her? Okay. Damn. But Yuri captured our hearts in our youth, and perhaps ever since, it's been Kinshiro and Rao's fate to fight each other. But yeah, that's why he's like, you know, and Rao will also be surprised to see her. That's why he also had such a shocking reaction to her. I felt like, you know, it made sense, you know, uh, especially with the flashback we saw. Um, but, yeah. But, okay, so, they're, they're all fighting over one girl. The blue glow of Shichose. Hmm. That's gotta be a technique, right? Shichose? Alcor, the faint star that appears beside the seven stars of Hokuto. It's called Shichose. I just said it, and I fucked it up. <laughs> the passage that, pres that presages death. It is said that death arrives the same year one sees it, and it's making its faint glow. My time must be close. Hmm. Okay, getting a nice flashback with Yuria. Cool, cool, cool. And yet, even in the eyes, I wouldn't say that she looks like Mamiya at all in the slightest. They are both women with black hair, and that's it. <laughs> But, oh, it's Kino! Or I guess probably not Kino at this point. It would probably just be Rao at this point. Hmm. So yeah, he just takes her by force. Mm hmm. And okay. Oh no, not Kinshiro though. Toki shows up to be like, let her go. Yeah, like, you know, Toki would be the I want her too, but not by force. Ooh. That'd be dope to see a little bit of a fight between these two. I don't think we're gonna get to see it, but okay, he does hand her over. Mm, got no intention of fighting you right now. Yeah, so he is someone who's just biding his time, biding his time. I mean, I don't know if this is the part. Look at the way he's dressed. <laughs> it certainly feels like we're in the apocalypse. I mean, did we get any time frame? No? Uh, I guess, yeah, look at the background. This definitely seems like that's in the apocalypse then, okay. Uh, that's true, Shin as well. Like, yeah. Kinshiro, Shin, Toki, Ral, every single man who knew her was in love with her. How do I compete with that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty, it's pretty nuts. Like, you're in love with somebody and you find out, like, oh yeah, their ex-girlfriend, every single person who ever met her was in love with her. Like, yeah, you're fucked. You ain't got no chance. Mm, I don't mind being like that star. What do you mean? That small, faint star is always beside the seven stars of Hokuto. I, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, from that sense. But it sounds like you're saying, like, I want to be the symbol of death. Oh, yeah, you can see that star. Yes, very clearly. Because, okay, she didn't, she did not hear what he said then. So, yeah, she's going to die too. She's going to die too. Oh, yeah, that must mean that uh, the town, the village is being evaded. And <laughs> What are you doing here? I found ya! Okay, looking specifically for Mamiya. Damn it, we shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Why do you have like a Saiyan tail? Like, <laughs> looks like a Saiyan armor. I am the Seeker with the Reno Recon Patrol. What a find. And okay, I should bring your head back so he doesn't want her alive. Man, can you? I would love to see you try and do something, but no, no. Can't do shit. But Toki, still barely alive, so he'll be able to help. Probably, this might kill him. Helping us might kill him. Okay, but never mind. Actually, <laughs> Kachira's here. Just standing right above us. Just bonk right on the head. Oh, cut his fucking tongue off. <laughs> That's what you get. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, long tongue on body. <laughs> what a weird, what a weird entrance. What a weird entrance. And yeah, now he comes for us. Just shut up, buddy. And we just, we like broke his wrists. Like by, by pulling them out of them, broke his wrists. He also, we also made him like slap himself, it seems. 
<laughs> I can't tell. <sighs> and yeah. Yep. We get no satisfaction from this one. This one's just a... You're, oh my... Okay, there is some satisfaction out of that one. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> god. But yeah, he's, he's making his move now. Now he's like finally confident that he's got all the skills and all the army. Oh, damn. Oh, sign something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. Our armor got cracked just by that guy. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Even Ray, even, even Ray is, is thinking the same thing. Oh my god, to everyone. It, yeah, but it's not like... It's like that's they're gonna die, but we can we can fight fate. We can fight fate. The little hero. Uh, Rin. Uh, but, uh... Well, well, yeah, that would be Rin and, um... Arya, they just said her name. Arya, I think. Okay, time to go. Sleep in a little. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, bat, yeah. Oh, it's been a while. I really thought they were going to be, like, you know, the central, like, supporting characters, but... Oh, yeah, damn, damn. We got some strong will in this boy. Yeah, the Kano Assault Force has already reached there. Ran an area, or, or what? Kidnapped something? Oh my god, like a Nazi flag with a cobra instead of an eagle. Incredible. Incredible. Okay, wait, 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 why do you look like the fucking warden? You look so much like the warden. <laughs> okay, okay. I, you know, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I like that most of our designs are usually very different person to person to person. But this one's so different to our last one. And yeah, like, doing a very similar thing to the fake Toki. Like, you know, pledging your allegiance to him. I know, oh my god, a boiling thing of coals or something. Who knows what's in there that's boiling something or just fire and coals? Uh, what? Gong, 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 gong. What the hell is that? Something in there? Oh, brand yourselves with the Kino mark. i never seen a branding like this where you just set fire to a whole ass thing and be like, press yourself against it. Yeah, I'd rather die. Well, okay, then you'll die. <laughs> then you can perform the dance of scorching death. Oh my god, what? She's gonna like hold- Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, a little- little fry him up plate and you're just gonna sit him on there. And yep. Damn. Truly, I can't imagine a worse way to go. This has been my night- like, if there is a torture that is the worst I could possibly imagine, this is it. Just being put onto a giant, you know, burning plate that you can't get off of. That's my nightmare. <laughs> Jesus. And, and like, you know, this is setting fire to him. Yeah, too late now. Too late now. God damn. Oh, I've been, I mean, like, to be fair, like, this, I would try and jump off immediately and just, he just stab me, but they would probably put you right back on. Probably strap you down so you can't move. Oh. But okay, so they're actually hiding out. Very good, very good. Hell yeah. Very glad they're hiding out. Whew. Oh, God, I mean, yeah, for their existence, like, truly, the women in this world have it so unbelievably bad. Yeah, hope is all we have. I have to believe the better days will come. God, I mean, better days for her did come. She was in hell, and Kinshiro allowed her to have some better days, and now, back in that situation again. <sighs> yeah, and like, having to have the child be strong for you, it's rough. Oh, please let it be Kinshiro. Nope, it's not, it's not. Great. And she covers Aerie. My god. This girl is... Rin is, is so unbelievably strong. <sighs> yeah. Big smack. Damn. I could have, like, shattered her fucking skull. <sighs> but I'm glad, also, that she is respecting Rin's last wishes. There's nothing that's going to come of you showing yourself here. Yeah, it's all. It's better to just continue to hide as she wished for you. And yeah, found one more to brand themselves. Brand's probably the size of her fucking body. <sighs> mm-hmm. She's gonna do it. Like you know, why wouldn't you? Like she's been like, especially her. You know, like gotta live, gotta live, gotta live. She's not someone who puts pride before that. But okay, I, I, you know, she is someone who's like surviving above all else, but she is not going to risk her pride. Damn.
And okay, takes all of her shoes to go on the fucking dance of death. I will not bow to the devil no matter what. Stop being a person when you give in to the devil. That's what Ken taught me. God damn, I hate that we did this. Oh, oh, this is great to read. Terrible to be like, oh, we, we instilled this on this little girl. She's going to go through all this because of us. <sighs> Here, let me give you a hand. And it, it's his own hand. Couldn't she right? No, okay, yeah, yeah. I, Kajira wouldn't have gotten here fast enough to open right, of course, of course. But I thought he, like, did a move to make his own hand go like... Hm. But... Mm -hmm. Demons disguise as humans. And then just slice through them. Yamaha! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Okay, yeah, very safe. Hell yeah. Huh. Oh yeah, you're, what are you, why am I crying? You know exactly why you're crying. Oh. God damn. This girl. This girl is incredible. Alright. Let's go all out. I, I'm so happy to see some Ray doing some shit. Also, fucking Dio inspiration. My god. My god. Holy shit. That's like the Dio pose Rocky loves to do. With the eye and everything. I mean also with the pillar and the, the glowing eye thing. Oh, what color is your blood? It can't possibly be red. You ain't fucking human. The looming demonic beasts. Oh, but back to these two, or back to these three, rather. Hmm, those are some giant fucking tracks like horseshoes. Well, like, that would be a massive horse. Massive. Uh, big as an elephant, maybe. Like, yeah, elephant with, uh... Or do elephants wear horseshoes? I don't think so. That's like a hoof thing. <laughs> yeah, only one man could ride a horse this big. <laughs> okay, nice tavern up ahead. If they're even alive in here. Hmm. Oh, okay, somebody's here. An old crone. Oh, you're enormous! Okay, maybe someone other than Rao could ride that horse. <laughs> Just hang her, <laughs> hang her hats up on the spike. <laughs> Whose hat is that? Is that her hat? Because we don't have a hat. Okay, well, he's taking it with us. I guess as a weapon, just in case. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay, so she did see the horse. Hmm. Yeah, please drink you first. <laughs> Thank you, but I just had a glass. Just drink it. Mm hmm But okay, and so what spikes just pop out of her body? What the fuck? Like, oh, okay, whoa, from the ceiling. From the ceiling. And yeah, gonna fall down right on <laughs> our little hat stand. Skewered. But okay, okay, so she is just an old woman. Okay, no, never mind, not an old woman, one of Keno's men. Okay, to just like, I, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, some, like someone small and tiny in there, and then, like, but uh, no, it seems like it is just normally that size. But, oh my god. The head's so big. So massive. But yeah, this means that they're already at the village, so we gotta hurry the hell up. We gotta rush there. Okay, that's okay. Thank god, I thought he might die. Oh my god. God. Danto looks so fucking cool. No, I know your weakness. Was it Airy? Yeah, it should be here. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Yeah. Oh, oh, an arrow. Okay, damn. Airy's got a fucking crossbow. Ah, <sighs> but go save her so she doesn't get captured. So this doesn't turn into a goddamn hostage situation. And Ray, don't worry about me anymore. I don't know about that. I'm still worried about you. <laughs> But true, yeah, like, you know, she could only live as a soulless doll. But now, she's resisting. Ren taught me that I'd stand up for myself. This little girl taught her that. God damn. Alright, no longer have a weakness. She's her own person now. She will live and die as she chooses. She might die then. She might fucking die. Alright, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, you fucking dudes. If there's women and children fighting, we can't stand here and do nothing. We gotta fight too! Everybody is being driven by this one little girl. 
A cruel god tested the weak with a horrific war. That girl may be the one ray of hope left for us. God damn, Ren's so cool! <sighs> we might not even get to Keno in this arc. <sighs> but, okay. Just drink it. Okay, okay, okay. It's just gasoline. I thought it was like boiling something. But he's drinking gasoline. And now <laughs> he's huge. <sighs> but, okay, yeah. So he spits it out onto a sword that ignites it. The sword's igniting it somehow. I don't know how. Oh, I guess he's like going ching ching or something, maybe? I don't know. But, Kato Ojutsu Spitfire Technique. But, oh, damn. Yeah, it's just gonna burn the villagers. Oh. Yeah, you really wanna fight me with that stupid circus trick? Really? We're just gonna, like, pop open your tummy and set you on fire. <sighs> yeah, bring it on, bud. This is gonna be the easiest one we've ever done. And, oh, Keno is up there watching, though. Okay, so we will probably get to Keno in this arc as well. Hmm, the male fake one shines. Awesome, bringing back the title, the male fake one. Awesome. I can never say that word correctly. I, every time I say it, I sound like a fucking idiot. But, oh, fuck yeah, bringing that back. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hell, oh. What the? Oh my god. Holy Fucking shit, we gotta zoom in for this one. This one's gorgeous. Gorgeous! I have never seen anything like this in manga. Never. The coloring is so unique. The color choice is so unique. Uh, I've truly never seen anything like this. Oh my god. What's up with you, just random guy here? <laughs> Holy fuck, this is beautiful. I can't get over it. My god, that's gorgeous. Insane. Look at the saddle. It's like such like perfect like low detail that makes it look even more detailed. Damn. 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 That, if that ain't our fucking cover page, I don't know what the hell else it would be. <sighs> Oh, okay, he's here, he's here. Lord Kino has arrived. And truly, I, th these look so much like Saiyan uniforms. Which, I guess, to be fair, also the Saiyan uniforms come from, like, Xenomorph stuff, so... Uh, this, as well, is probably coming from that. But, damn, damn, damn. And, like, doing, like, the Hell Horse thing as well. Awesome, awesome. Damn, damn! <sighs> oh, the coloring is, like, so different than how he normally does the orange coloring. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is perfect. I'll take you out myself right here. Oh, yeah, good luck. Good luck. And just with our back to him, we're going to defeat him. Yeah, just jump over the flames from behind. Oh, now, he is he on fire? He set fire to himself. Yeah, yeah, now we yeah cut open his stomach. Yeah, Suto Knife Hand creates a vacuum wave in the air. Oh, okay, so that's how we, like, you know, vacuumed the flames back onto him. And now, yeah, pop. <laughs> trying to run away <laughs> oh my god yeah is the fire catching up to you <laughs> oh boy massive explosion behind us as we walk towards the final boss hmm. yeah okay let me show you everything else I have yeah started shaking the moment I saw that man but yeah, I, I think Ray could literally die here. He could get killed. Because we haven't had like a main character die yet. And okay, yeah, she screams, don't do it, don't do it. Go away, run away, run away. It's the only way I know how to repay you. Damn, fuck dude, you're dead. You're gonna be dead. Seen the star beside the seven stars of Hokuto? I have. <laughs> Yeah, aren't you getting off your horse? No. You think you can make me get off my horse? God damn. No man can stand on equal ground with me anymore. Literally. Literally. God has foreseen this fight. God, epic, epic, epic. And just with his aura alone, perhaps? Mamiya can sense it as well. Mm, someone passed through me just now. The chain of Ko's pendant that Ray retrieved for me. Mm. 
Yeah, he ain't alive anymore, I think. Yeah, we just, we just like, just sped right through him. Ooh. Okay, just one finger, but I don't know, that could be, that might be through the heart. He's got no color in his face at all. That's in a very effective use of the coloring as well. My god. My god. The illusory Malfiant, Malfiant, Malfiant Fists. Oh. Yeah, it shines as it drips down. I'm staking my bet. I'm going to say it concretely now. My bet is that Ray is dead. He is already dead, even. And he just like. <clears throat> Just like chunks him off his finger. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, no response. I think he is. You wanted to repay for what you did. Yeah. Ah, oh, and yeah, even Ray couldn't tell. Like, I love this because this is our first instance of really, like, you know, we've seen people get taken down before, but this is like a he instantly died going up against him. Instantly died. Uh, and okay, okay, yeah, we're getting a flashback. I've never seen anything like it. Now we get to see how it happened. Just, zing, his aura alone froze him in mid-air, it seems. Like, I'm not sure if that's making him, like, stop attacking or literally making him freeze. And, okay, he's holding the reins in his hand, but I just saw illusionary fists. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, so it was just his aura attacking him. What you saw was my toki. My furious energy, my aura. Calling it Toki is going to be very hard when we have a character named Toki as well. <laughs> but yeah, I love the, you know, can't even stand up to me because my aura is so strong you just collapse on your feet. But that's not even what happened here. I mean, it happened right there, but, you know, he didn't fully collapse here. He still went for another one. Yeah, even if I'm destroyed, I still got to give it a chance. And what is he trying to do? Okay, Nanto Kyokyoko, Ogi, Dunko Sosaiken, Ultimate Nanto Secret Technique, Self-Sacrificing Counter-Attack. Mm, friends, give me strength. Uh, but, just flaps out, his damn cape catches you in it, and stabs him straight through it. Damn, and it just bursts into a bunch of pieces, my god, how the fuck? How the fuck? Oh, my God. And yeah, everyone's trying to stop us, but we gotta do what we gotta do. And okay, she, she does take that to heart, though. It'll be alright. I ain't dying. Mm hmm. Still got the same weaknesses? Then come find out, buddy. <laughs> okay, I asked you what well, I asked your friend. Have you seen the blue star that shines beside the seven stars of Hokuto? No. It means it's not our time yet. Okay, so he just leaves. Yeah, so he's like waiting for the specific times we will see the stars. So he, you know, he doesn't want to actually fight. He wants to only fight when it's ensured that he will win. What a bitch. What a bitch. And then, whoa! Another like illusionary thing? Or is that real? That might be real. A real force wave. Yeah, just like an aura blast. Damn. Do we have to hurry? What are you guys going to do here? But yeah, not ready yet. So we got to train to go fight down Keno, maybe. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. It's not something anything we've done yet, but love that. Hmm. It's the blood that's kept my spirit burned to this day. It only makes me stronger. I am not the Kinshiro you once knew. My blood will break through your aura. Hell yeah, buddy. Blood versus aura. Fuck yes, that's some dope ass shit. I can't believe I've never seen that in manga. You know, it feels like such a thing, a lot of things would copy based off of this. But, you know, it's always, well, my aura will be stronger than your aura. I love that Gajira's just like, yeah, no, my blood is what's going to break through. Hot damn. But yeah, not yet. Oh, okay, so his, his horse is uh, Coco. <laughs> Cocoa. I'll have to find out what Koku means, because that'll be like Koku King. Hmm. Yeah, so okay. So he bears an aura as well. That was an aura blast he just did. I mean, we do have like our rage makes us stronger and everything that makes our body like steel. That's, I guess that's like an aura. Holy shit! Holy shit! A warning from the dead. 
are we actually going to fight? I thought we were going to do it. Like, you know, no, we're going to have to come back later. But maybe we will actually fight here. Damn, Kinshira looks so fucking cool right now. And he's having to hold him back. <sighs> okay, okay. I'll give you what you want. Okay, we are going to fight him here. Huh? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Are explosions going on behind us? What is happening? Oh, I hope these scars stay. They're actually really cool. It's like a nuclear bomb's going off around him. Holy shit! It's like a halo or something. That's incredible. Now, see, this is something I would want to see in color. This is something I would definitely want to see, even just like the orange color. Hmm, the air is getting sucked towards him. Damn! <laughs> They're just sucking it all up into these giant clouds. And whoa! What the fuck? We're we gonna fight in the sky? What the fuck is Fist of the North Star? Excuse me! What? I never knew about any of this shit. Okay, again, a Rocky. <laughs> this is so much. That's like, I, I knew JoJo was inspired by, by Fist of the Star. I did not realize how insanely much it was. Like, this is literally the Jotaro Dio standoff in part three thing, when they just start flying in, in the exact same way. You know, the aura blasts going off and everything, too. That's when we first start getting that. Like, I can't believe this was all a Fist of the North Star reference. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I mean, even Made in Heaven, I wonder, you know, the design of it and everything. But this is incredible. We're using the air pressure. We're, we're, we're circling all the air around us, using the air pressure to throw us up in the air, hold us up in the air and shit. We're gonna hold a whole ass horse and a man. And, oh, is that Nanto or is that something else? Hmm. I, I, I hope we get to see him use a bunch of his other techniques and not just aura stuff. And yeah, he's just like, ah, oh, it's just because it's daytime that you didn't see she cho she say. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's it. I'm sure that's it, buddy. <laughs> you should have gotten off your horse, bitch. Hokuto, uh, Shichishi, Kei, Ki Hazan, Hokuto, Seven Deaths, Calvary Slash. Oh, you have a horse slash in Hokuto Shinkin? My god. <laughs> oh, but, okay, and then we land, and the horse is dead. Oh, we cut him. Yeah. Get off the horse. <laughs> Don't you realize someone just saved your life? Hmm? Uh, what are what am I looking at? Uh, oh, there's an arrow in his knee. God, this panel is so detailed I couldn't tell what the fuck it was pointing out. <laughs> okay, so if somebody hadn't shot this arrow at me just now, you would be dead. And we know who that was. Airy. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. No, no, no. He ain't dead. Okay, 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 okay. He ain't dead. He ain't dead. I fully thought he was dead. Fully, fully bought it. Okay, Ray. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So he's finally awake. It's been like a minute, dude. <laughs> I gave him three days to live. Okay. So yeah, I gave him like a hook to, you know, puncture of just three days to live. Ah, the martial arts masters who defy me. I let them live for a while. If I kill them quickly, they never have a chance to fear me. But if given three days of life, they despair on the mint until the moment of death. Do you want them to be afraid in heaven? Is that it? Something like that? Fear will become a legend before long. Well, yeah. So, yeah, just for this world. I thought it was kind of like, I want them to fear me when I get to heaven. <laughs> the, the, the new blood sorrow channeling point. Okay. Yeah, bursting blood from his body. So, yeah, similar to the one that Kinshira did before, but this one's new. But if we beat you, then Kinshira can just turn that off. There's a reason you can't beat him. Okay. Surprised you figured it out. Oh, oh what just happened to us? <laughs> what the fuck? And then it went away. Huh. So, okay. Very delayed attack. Very delayed. Damn these legs. Damn these legs. <laughs> Woo. But what is your secret technique? What's the secret technique? Let's look at our volume color as well. I don't have to do that. I just have to go to the very beginning. Uh... Okay, still no idea who the fuck you are. Were you in this volume at all? Who? Who? Why were you on this volume cover? You weren't here. Right? I'm trying. Like, who would this be? This is nobody. This is this is nobody. It's got to be. That's uh, so weird. Because, like, there's so many people you would put on this cover. Like, we had Kinshiro, Shin, uh, Ray. Jaggy, why not Toki? Why didn't we do Toki? And then, yeah, okay, Kino is next. 
Yeah. Oh my god, hell of a Keno. My god, he's got a little beauty mark sort of thing too. Beautiful looking. He definitely looks European or something. Damn, you got a big ass. That looks like a nice ass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, why? Who the... F I imagine it'll be somebody we get to this volume, maybe. But you put him on last volume. Weird as hell. <laughs> Chapter 68. Fate that calls for blood. God, he looks so fucking dope with these scars. I really hope they stay. But, yeah, what is the reason? Tell us. Hmm, you don't understand the nature of your fist yet. There's only one fist I fear, and that is Toki's. Hmm, okay, so maybe there is, you know, a thing for Toki getting here. Maybe there will be, you know, something he can do. And yeah, it's not time for him to fight Rao yet. Calm waters conquer a raging torrent. So, okay, yes, because Toki is the calm one. Like, you know, we saw before, Kinshira used to be, you know, uh, the kind of person who would be able to calm down a tiger. Now, I don't know if he would. Uh, he is not the calm water. Uh, so this is just going to be a raging torrent versus a raging torrent. All that's going to call is just more raging torrents. Oh, but Toki senses somebody waiting, just waiting to attack us. Uh, okay, they all fight with these giant poles. Oh, he's got the same thing Rao does. Interesting. And yeah, all the furious energy you're giving off. So yeah, like, Kinshira is only able to tell somebody's nearby when he can, like, literally tell somebody's nearby. But, uh, you know, Toki is the one who understands the, the aura. So. And this energy is the secret of my technique. I guess I just can't help giving it off. Can't let you reach that village. But wait, what was your technique? Tell me your technique. And yeah, too powerful bloodlust. Okay, and chose me for this task for a reason. Hmm, and he's only using you to buy some time. Yeah, maybe that's it, actually. Oh, yeah, I got some blood-stained clubs. Yeah. I mean, I gotta put respect on anybody who's, like, you know, imagine the kind of shit this guy's done for his entire life working for Keno. Like, he probably has a long list of impressive accomplishments. But, you know, it's all gonna end here, buddy. <laughs> all right, let me show you what I meant. Yes, please do. So, taste of Reto Hakukan. Haku, Hakukan. <laughs> Reto Hakukan. Furious, steel crushing crudgels. This is your secret technique? You need your bloodlust energy for that? I don't think you do. I think that's just, uh, you know, cope. But yeah, we're just dancing out of the way. Yeah. Resist a torrent and it will swallow you. You must yield to it, become one with it. Like, yeah, I, you know, I know the classic, like, water flow fist sort of thing. Does that come from this? I kind of just assumed that was an always thing. But, uh, you know, I mean, it could also just be. And we're just focusing on it very heavily here. But yeah, this very much so feels like, the, you know, you move with the water kind of movement. My god! So yeah, use his own weight against him. <laughs> now just do the same thing again. Just gonna tie you up with your own hands. <laughs> Calm waters conquer a raging torrent. And your clubs will never be soaked in blood again. <laughs> I love all the lines like that. <laughs> they have such cool one-liners. And yeah, they're both torrents. They are Gonokin, fists of might that emanate overwhelming furious energy, so to speak. But yeah, so our fists have like massive aura within them. Toki's, you know, is, is the perfect water. It, it flows well. It can, you know, it can redirect. And no, we're just going to leave you like that forever. Okay. <laughs> Didn't kill him, though. Yeah, why didn't he pass on his fist to us? That's actually an interesting question to ask. Huh. But yeah, he knows he's coming. And he is worried about him. But he does not know the state that he's in. Uh, and okay, yeah. Ray is going to try and save us because we can't encounter him right now. We will die. And yeah, he knows too. Your fists are the same. If you two clash, you may defeat him. But it'll also be the end of you. I mean, you were going to do the same thing, though. You were doing your entire, like, I'm destroying my body move. But okay. I've got this. Just got to trust me here. If you have to fight him, remember this one thing. Stay alive. Hmm. And yeah, if you both die, it's the same as defeat. The world needs you. Okay. The world needs you. Defeat may be nearly certain, but if there's even 1% chance of victory, I gotta fight. That's my fate as the successor of the Hokuto Shinkin. 
Yeah, your Toki's nothing but a ripple. We'll see if you believe that when Toki comes. <laughs> I don't know why. I was trying to make it in a one-liner and it didn't work. <laughs> Immediately failed. Backed out instantly. <laughs> but okay. Damn, damn. Yeah, we can take down the horse at least. We can take down the horse maybe. But I don't even think that did it. Yeah, come on, step off that horse. No, we're going to have to make him step off that horse. Okay, Toki's here already. Okay, I really thought it was going to be a little bit longer of a fight. <laughs> but no, Toki's here. And yeah, life is not to be wasted. God damn. But yeah, this is why you can't fight him, though. This cover page is exactly why you can't fight him. <laughs> this is a raging torrent I've ever seen one. A moment of respite. Okay, so we have just like a talking chapter, maybe? Okay, we still got our strength in us, too. Toki does. That's very good. That's very good. He's probably only going to be able to, uh, like, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a talking chapter, but I feel like Toki can get in one good redirect, but then I feel like that's all he can do. Hmm. And yeah, too late to help Ray. I mean, I feel like if he's alive right now, he's going to live throughout this arc. And yeah, Ray's not worried about his own death. He's worried about you dying, because the world needs you. You must live and see through these times. Okay, we don't even have 1% chance of defeating him. What, like 0.1%? Kinshiro, can you kill that girl? No. If you can, you may be able to defeat Rao. Huh. So, it is said that Toki is born from merciless blood. You also attained it through your battles with Shin and Rei. Mm-hmm. I mean, with Rei! With Rei! <laughs> Why with Rei? <laughs> Hold on. I guess, like, the battles... With Shin, as in fighting him, and and Rey, as in alongside Rey. Like, all the battles we fought alongside Rey have been, you know, ones that have uh, brought it out to us. But yeah, not nearly as merciless as Rao. And okay, he even laid his hands on our adoptive father, Ryukin. So is he the reason? Yeah, I was told he died as an illness, but no. It was him who killed him. Oh, and yeah, you violated the tradition by killing the master. Damn. And okay, he was actually, like, leaving. Did something happen? Yeah, then you must renounce Hokuto Shinken, forbidding from practicing ever again. I mean, you don't want to fucking chop your hands off and shit, but... Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, even though I'm leaving, but I'm not renouncing it. And I don't take it. orders from anyone, not even God. So who cares about some fucking tradition, right? Mm-hmm. He's gonna have to fight him then. Oh. God... And yeah, like, I respect the Master, but damn, it shows a lot that Rao was able to overcome the fucking Master. And yeah, yeah, as it always is with Martial Arts Masters, they can never raise anyone good. You can raise one person who's good, but then you have to raise, like, nine who are shit. <laughs> I mean, she's not that many, but you know, the, the odds are never good. It's always one good to a bunch of bad. I feel like this North Star is actually very rare in that, like, Toki's also got a 50-50. Jaggy was shit and Rao was shit, but Toki and Kinshiro were very good. <sighs> but okay. Hokuto Shinken Ogi. She chase a... Oh, you got the, the star thing? She chase a tension. Or, uh, she... That was like she... I don't know. Was this the same one? Seven star points of the soul? Maybe that's not the, uh... The, the, the star one? I think it is, though. I think it is, but... And, uh, yes. Yeah, footwork. Hmm, didn't even know such a secret technique existed. I mean, he's got probably got a ton of secret techniques that he's only going to deliver. Uh, I guess, you know, now there's some secret techniques that will never be passed down. Because he probably would have passed them down, but he was killed. And yeah, just... As if he's just a bunch of clones, illusionary clones. And okay, we're scaring him with this. Damn! How is he going to kill the Master, then? Because, yeah, the Master seems... I, I thought the Master was going to be insanely strong. So, glad to see that. Oh, he's, he's, yeah, in the exact, like, formation. The seven stars of Hokuto. He's enacting the alignment of the stars. <laughs> Incredible. All right, I'll tell you why they're the stars of death. There are seven blind spots in a man's movements. If you trace those blind spots, they form the shape of Hokuto Shichese. Cool. Yeah, the guidepost to death. Awesome, awesome. I love we got, like, a reason for that. It's so cool. But, yeah, he can't kill you. I will only prevent you from ever using those fists again. But then once he comes in close... Hmm. He has a heart attack. Why now? It's because of him. Like, his aura is doing it. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe this is just happenstance. 
And yet, God, grant me a moment of respite. But no, you'll get that moment of respite when you're dead. Damn, that's a cool-ass panel. Oh, my God. And yeah, by the time I arrived... That's, I like that, though. That is, it's, you know, it was just, a, like, he did die of illness, in a way. Like, he was going to die of illness, but Rao was there to seal his fate regardless. Damn. But yeah, now the Toki's here, you're gonna run away? Because there's no way we have enough chapters to do this unless we, like, beat him in, like, one fight or something. Or, like, one chapter. So... Okay, but damn, no, never mind. Now the Toki's here. I'm going to step down to the same ground as you. I keep expecting this to not happen here because I'm like, surely this is not going to just get solved in like one chapter, right? We're not going to fight him in one chapter, but it could be. All right, now for the two of you, only death awaits. You're going to fight both of us at the same time, even though you're kind of scared of Toki. Interesting. Like calm waters. So, okay, it's got to be, it's got to be either Toki, but hopefully Kinshiro. Also, yeah, I was saying earlier, like, you know, oh, yeah, Ray's gonna make it out of this alive. I mean, like, well, literally he's gonna make it out of this fight alive. But, like, also, you know, we have both Toki and Kenshiro here. Hopefully one of them can do a little point on him to make him better, as I said earlier. But, all right, this is dope. Two brothers going up against one. God, he's got such a cool fucking design, too. <sighs> Killed our father. Serve your ambitions. Gonna make you pay. No, calm, calm down. Calm down, Kinshiro. This is not this is a problem. Yeah, step back and watch. My fists, the way of fighting, will help you. Uh, well, will one day help you. Yeah, he's gonna die here, though. And, oh, what the hell? So, he, is, did he just, like, give us the technique by doing that? I struck the Shintancho Tiko, the new chest center. You will be unable to move until I free you. Okay, well, then maybe he won't die then. And yeah, there's no such thing as two against one in Hokuto Shinkan. Okay. Defeating someone in such a way is not a victory. I was looking forward to it because of how powerful he was. I thought he was going to be able to take you both on. But, you know, I wasn't thinking of it like it was going to make it easy for us. <laughs> and yeah, true. We're the rightful successor, so we can't go against, the, you know, the traditions. And yeah, he's saying too, like, yeah, he's going to pass this on with his death. But in death, how is he going to undo this, you know, this thing, this hold on us? Damn, now he's taking off the helmet now, finally. Oh, he's got a sick-ass design, though, even without the helmet. But the helmet's, you know, very sick in of its own. And yeah, please watch. Watch my death and burn it into your brain. <laughs> yeah, not Rao anymore. Call me Kino. Let me show you the fists of a man who now seeks to conquer the heavens. Who now seeks? You all always seek. Also, he doesn't seem to have a little... Dot thing on his forehead, so maybe that what I that had to have been Rao on the cover. It had to have been, but and okay, instead of like sucking the air in, he's letting the the air flow by him, just like normal air. <laughs> but yeah, Rao's furious energy is unchanged, but Toki is turning it aside instead of resisting it. So okay, he's like taking that rage, taking the aura, and letting it flow by him like calm waters. And okay, when Rao approaches, Toki backs away the same distance. Redirection is your style. Yep, yep, yep. And it will truly shine with my attacks. <laughs> yeah, just keep back, 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 back. Until, okay, he goes for him, but it's just an after image. We're moving in closer. Okay, we're going for a strike. Mm, yeah, okay, okay, he just stops his arm like a blade. He hasn't lost a thing! And okay, going for the other one, but just hurl him up in the air and grab one of his sick-ass trident knives. Like those, I didn't comment on them earlier, but they are sick as hell. Oh man, I want these shoulder pads and fucking Halo. <laughs> but okay, leaps up there after him. And boom, doom! Oh, they do the, like the both kick and uh, like we don't know which one got the real hit in. And Rao's changing his tactics. Whoa, okay. I thought this was going to be like, you know, the classic swordsman blow where they do a blow and then see who gets hurt by it later. But no, uh, the thwam there is just like he did get us and he, bl like, Rao got Toki and Toki was blocked, I think. Uh, and now he's changing his tactics into what? Slams down the ground on his fucking dam. So from the sky to the ground slamming on your foot. That's some disrespect. And then goes to stab his foot into his foot, so now we, you can't get away. The distance is sealed. Damn. Badass. 
badass. And yeah, he's admitting, like, hey, both the master and you were superior to me. But sickness in old age is the downfall. Oh, I'm such a sucker for this. Like, watch my death, Kinshiro. Watch as I die. Oh, and it seems God wishes to fight me. Jesus. Yeah, Toki, free me first before you die. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Chichose. Right, see, Chichise is the, the, is the, um... Like the Hokuto one, she chose say is the Omen Star of Death. Got it, got it. And yeah, your sickness will not be the bringer of your death. It will be me, just like the Master. Uh, and Ren here as well. Break free from it. Break free from it. We did it with Jaggy. We can do it here too. Break free from it. Damn, it was no color on them. Awesome. Sick as hell. Free me from the Hikobaku. <laughs> That's such a lame title. <sighs> but how is he supposed to get over to you? How is he going to get over there? <sighs> and yeah. yeah. He's not going to do it. He's, but I mean, like, the problem is not he's prepared to die for his convictions. I, he's still going to die. I'm not saying, oh, Toki, don't die and come help us. I'm saying, you're going to die, but get us out first. <laughs> But yeah, they're, they're, they're doing this so we can have like a two for one. That's not why I'm saying it. Let me make it clear. I'm not saying it because I need a two for one. Yeah, and Toki's also trying to pass on that, you know, the tradition is more important than my life. This is 1,800 years of history. If you want it to be the successor, be the successor. You know, don't be half-assed about this. You have to be a proper successor. And like, you know, Toki's trying to implement that on him by like, I'm not going to free you till I'm dead, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> Maybe when he dies, the channel point's just released in general? Nah, nothing after death. The death of a man and the death of an old dog. It's all the same. <sighs> That's true. Like, he's so, you know, weakened by injury and old age, or like, illness and old age, but like... He doesn't have to do anything. Just blood loss will probably kill him. Truly. Like, you know. <sighs> and yeah, looking pale. Oh, damn. But, you can do something. Yeah, my time has come. A trying fate follow. A trying fate follows the wielder of Hokuto Shinken because of its law of succession. But my death is but only one trial to overcome. Hmm. But yeah, so we're gonna... Yeah, trying fate is just... You know, it's fated for us in general. And yeah, here it comes. What's he doing? What's he doing? Okay, okay, his fierce aura. Okay, okay, damn. So even though he knows this is not going to work, but he knows the water's not going to work either, so he's like, might as well try this, I guess. And they're just, they're just bam, bam, bam. It's like faster than light, can't even see it. <sighs> Farewell, Kinshiro. Puts it all together. <laughs> One final technique. <laughs> hmm... And then, oh, rips his foot out in order to do one final move. That gets dodged anyway. Or, no, 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 no. Okay, he does go shing, and it slices across him. That's very different from Hokuto Shinken. That's well, like a Nanto. No, never mind. The blood's from him crushing us. Okay, god damn it, damn it, damn it. <sighs> and yeah, this is it. But, don't bother. That won't stop me. Ah, uh, yeah, Aerie. Uh, or Mamiya, yeah, Mamiya. Everybody's using this damn crossbow. <laughs> Everybody's with this crossbow. <sighs> and yeah, that's true. We see that at the very, very beginning of the series. There is just a technique where you just go, and fling it back at you. <sighs> yeah. And yeah, she's seen it too. Fine, take your shot, girl. Mm -hmm. She's gonna do it regardless. Uh, but, will Ray jump in front or something? Hmm, I see. So she's your... Does he think that she's our girlfriend or something? Yeah, that's right. She taught me what love is. Yeah, we're going to do this strategy twice. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, he's saying that. She's going to fire it off. She's going to fire it off. And the fact that even Rin is having to say that. Like, oh, that little light is going to be put out before it can even be born. Ren is so unbelievably mature. But yeah, you break out of it, motherfucker. 
break out of it. I know we said before, like, we could probably, you know, we wouldn't be able to break out of it. Like, he specifically said, like, oh, Toki has an even stronger one than, than uh, you know, fake Jaggies. So, uh, if it was Toki, I wouldn't be able to break out of it. But, you gotta, you gotta. And yeah, this world needs you. There was tears. Uh, but the bolt is indeed fired. He throws it around, but... Okay, okay, okay. Wasn't, you know, able to grab it in time, but... Got hit by it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We broke through exactly... I love that because we built this up as, like, a thing that he couldn't do. And yet, with my body strength, it was the innocent heart of a young child. It was her heart that set me free. It's not the heavens you'll have in your grasp. It will be Shichose instead. Wait, Shichose? Uh, well, right now, yeah, sorry. That is the Omen Star. Yes. <laughs> Done. Sorry. Sorry. All right, last chapter here. The never-ending struggle. Okay. You know, it is a very different arc in that, like, we've just been fighting him pretty much the entire time. We haven't, like, had to fight mooks. We, we have, but, you know, it's on our way. You know, it's not like we had, like, a boss fight or anything like that. It was just kind of like a, psh, you know, that's it. But also, the, the never-ending struggle, you know, this is just going to be our entire life. Our life will always have to be dealing with shit like this. And even your own life will be out of your grasp. <laughs> okay. You're going to use a weapon? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, damn, the size difference. <laughs> Charging in. Mm, oh, I won't stop him anymore. I'd actually like to see what Kinshira can do. It is the soul that rules the body, not the body. Hmm, okay. So yeah, even he doesn't know. Must be where the true secret of Hokuto Shinkin lies. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Slice his throat with it. He goes at us too. Oof. Maybe gonna break our arm with that one. Yikes! Yeah, pretty, oof, pretty bad one. That's dope. Why does no other series do this? Why is there, I, you know, every other series like the, in a battle between masters, you know, they're just perfectly evading every blow, perfectly dodging and, and like redirecting every blow. I wish it was more in a battle between masters. You can't completely evade the blows. You have to allow your flesh to be cut to break your opponent's bones. That's so much cooler. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, like, no bloodless battle between masters. When normally, every time you get, like, super powerful people fighting in the series, it's like, that's gonna be a battle with no blood ever shed, and they're barely gonna hit each other. <laughs> oh, but this is so much cooler. And yep, her arm just <laughs> blown up. That had to have shattered your bones. But us too, us too. Damn, this is a good one. Okay, just back to back to back. Yeah, I don't want to see any more blood, but we gotta stop him. We gotta stop him. And alright, we're already down to just one strike left. I mean, after just this, after just that one panel, I get it. Alright, laying down their lives to their next and final strikes. Oh my god. I, I can't, can't get over it. Like, this looks like, you know, uh, uh, Caesar from, from uh, JoJo Part 2. But specifically, that was r r making me realize, like, Araki definitely gets his blood, but how he draws blood from Fist of the North Star. But only, like, this kind of thing. Like, you know, Araki doesn't draw this kind of blood. If it's blood, it's only shooting out the body. There's no blood that's just, like, laying on the body or pooling on the ground. It's always, like, hairy strands like this. Which makes sense when it's coming from their head. You know, it makes it's never felt weird in Fist of the North Star, but it's the only kind of blood Araki draws. So it's so wild seeing the inspiration and seeing, like, why didn't why didn't you take all of the inspiration? Why did you draw blood in the worst I've ever seen a Mangaka draw? And the fact that you got the inspiration from here and it looks completely fine is crazy. <laughs> but okay, going for a final blow. Shoot. <laughs> Both into the chest. Dun, 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 dun. Mm hmm. Now, oh, if you were still the old Ral, I could have defeated you. Damn. Damn. But there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, we're just like locked in a stalemate here. And yeah, the Empire's collapsed. Everybody running away. Hmm. Okay, okay. They didn't strike deep enough to reach each other's channeling points. So they're just kind of stuck in that pose. Damn. What do we do here? Okay, yeah, you both... No, no, blah, blah, blah. You both know that neither of you can fight anymore. So are we just going to say, it's over. You know, you can't win, he can't win. Call it. And damn, he's crying. He's crying. Yeah, I know this wasn't the end you wanted. 
Okay. So, okay, we're this is like a, you know, battle one, and then later we will... Or not! Or not! Oh, Jesus! Like, he almost passed out, fell to his knees. Damn. But, yeah, the horse... <laughs> Damn, he's so sad. He is fucking, he wants to cry so badly. <laughs> you bitch. <sighs> but yeah, all he's got is his horse. He too is alone now. And yeah, now he slumps over on the horse, passed out. <sighs> yeah, another day, another battle will await them. Damn, okay, so yeah, this is like our part one of the battle. We will be fighting Rao again. God damn. God damn. What, what a crazy fucking ending. Like, specifically this whole part here. Like, the, the, the single tear and everything. <sighs> Wild. Wild. Oh, my God. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, it, it uh, what, what is there to say that I haven't already said? Just, you know... It, the brothers versus brothers, the coolest shit we, you know, this whole brothers versus brothers arc and stuff in general saga we've been getting is fucking sick. Having Toki here with it, having our whole cast here with it, Rin being such a fucking uh, prominent character here. There's just everything about this was truly capital E epic. <laughs> and I'll see you guys for whatever we're doing next. Until then, get the fuck out of here. Who was on the cover? Who was that? Was that fucking Rao on the cover? Who was on last cover? What the fuck is going on? <laughs>